guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be doing a full face of makeup using my new elf products along with the morphe fall into frost palette so let's get started this is the elf daily brush cleaner i'm just gonna clean these brushes because i need them for this look oh my god Is it even coming off? Let me do one by one. It didn't completely remove, ah! <laughs> what was that? It didn't completely remove the color off of the brush, but I don't see any residue on the towel anymore. So I think it should be okay to use. I'm pretty sure with the e.l.f. Um, shampoo, It'll definitely knock it off a little more, like the stain, you know? This is gonna be a full video of myself cleaning the brushes. Anyway, let's proceed. So, we're gonna be trying out the Poreless Primer by e.l.f., which is this one here. Let's put some music on, shall we? Oh my god. Primer, primer, primer. For this primer, I recommend that you start with one squirt because it is very smooth. I swear I thought I ordered a lip primer for eyeshadows. That's why I'm like, I know I ordered 13, 14 products, but I guess it was sold out when I put it in the cart or something because I only got 13 products and 13 products were on my list. Apparently, is another baby. All that she wants is another baby. She's gone tomorrow, boy. All that she wants is another baby. Yeah. Do I look poreless? Do I look smooth like butter? Something sweet, so delight. How can you man stand sleeping at night? All right, so. Let's move on to concealer. Manipulation was his key. He screwed it in cause she was naive. We're not perfect, we must say. But now I've got to run away. So we're gonna be using the Mega Glow Contour Palette by Wet n Wild. And I'm gonna be using the Morphe E4 brush. All right, so I'm pleased with my cheeks. Very natural. Let's move on to the concealer. To the Morphe E67 brush. Uh, this is a brush made by James Charles. It's meant for the nose contouring, but I really like it for defining the eyebrow, because the angle is just perfect, you know what I mean? It's like like slanted, and I like it, because I can, you know, apply it how I want it. And in makeup, there are no rules. You can do whatever you want, use whatever brush you want. There's no specific rule, there's no specific 
law on what brush to use for what, with what. So just use it wherever you want. Use whatever you want, wherever you want, whenever you want. So we're gonna use the Brow Wiz by e.l.f. I like this pencil. Ooh, yes. The fuck was that? Now you're gonna define your eyebrows. Where the fuck is my brush? I just had it. Now I'm gonna give him what he wants and more To all those explicit things that I told you no Places you couldn't go So I'm going to contour the nose now. I'm going to use the M158. It's one for the eyebrows, but I'm using it for the nose. Hey, you can do whatever you want. Basically with the contour, this is going to give you your nose shape, basically. You can make it slim, you can make it thick. We're going to go for a snatched nose here. So then you're gonna grab your Morphe buffer brush to buff this out. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna jump into the eyeshadows. Before we jump to the eyeshadows, we gotta test out this blush that I got by e.l.f. So this is in the shade Mellow Mauve. And we're gonna be using the Blush Brush by Morphe. Where are my scissors? Where are my scissors at? We're gonna do a setting powder, just because. Oh, wait, I have the powder, the setting powder <laughs> by e.l.f. I totally forgot about it. So this is the setting powder. It says pour powder on here. We're not gonna use a lot, obviously, because I just powdered my face. So uh, this powder had really good reviews. I hope I don't look white. <laughs> All right, so that was the Beauty Shield Setting Powder by e.l.f. Now we're gonna have some fun with these shadows. So these are the shadows. I haven't really used this palette except for ring light. Beautiful colors, right? So let's see, what should we use today? Ooh, nice, okay. So we're gonna go in with um, We're gonna go in with these, this color first, here at the end.
We're gonna go in with this very nice burgundy color here. The last shade for the lid. Mm, let's go in with this very deep, almost black color. Oh my God, I got punched in the eye, guys. <laughs> this is a very deep, brown purple. I actually dig it. And we're gonna go in with the first shade, just to kinda blend the top and give it that light again. So far, I like the colors. Let's add some of the blinding color up here. Oh yeah, so I'm putting this one just on the very top. This gold here, I want to do it for the inner corner of the eyes. This gold here. That looks nice. And now I'm going to put a little of that gold just on the bottom here. Till the end. So now we're going to do a little bit of this purple to blend everything in. I'm gonna do the lips before I put on the eyelashes. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. lip pencil lipstick. <laughs> this is matte, but then I'm gonna use the lip gloss to give it shine. Obviously not Britney Spears. Who's closest to you? So now lashes. I'm gonna be using the Eyelure, Eyelure number 126 lashes. Definition, yes. Oh my God. This is my right side. Oh my God. This is harder than I thought, putting lashes on, my goodness. 
I mean, I don't know if I put it on right. <laughs> I guess one eyelash down. That was the hardest thing ever. And for it to not look right. <laughs> Just can't say no. One more eyelash. I wonder if I would have used this little tool, it would have been easier. Let's try it out for the left lash. All right, so we're gonna try it with the little tool here. Hopefully it's easier. Oh my God. Oh my God, this video is gonna <laughs> be so long. Now I know why girls take forever to get ready, Jesus. Oh my God. This feels weird. I've never worn lashes before. Hopefully I applied them right. So I'm just gonna put some mascara now that they're on, on my lashes so that I can blend. Not bad, not bad. Damn, bitch. This takes time, my goodness. Okay. So now, last but not least, we're gonna go in with the highlighter, okay? So we're gonna go in with the Elf Heart Defensor highlighter in coffee and cream. And we're gonna go in with the Morphe M433 brush for the highlighter. Okay, so let's try out the, the coffee side first. Oh, okay, I see it. Oh, nice, it's beautiful. That's pretty. That's nice. Actually, no, let's switch brush because this is too tiny for my fat face. Ooh. So we're gonna go in with the Morphe E48 brush. I like my, my highlighter to be popping, so. I think this one will definitely pack it in. It's very creamy, this foundation. I mean, this uh, highlight is very creamy. Let's go in with the cream side and lay it on top of it. Yes, bitch. I like it, cause it's not leaving me looking ashy or anything like that. Blends nicely. These two colors together complement each other really well. I'm gonna put a little bit on top of the brow. Mixing both of them together. Love it. I love this highlighter, it's really nice. Blends nicely together. And now we're gonna highlight the bridge of the nose. brush just to kind of remove any stamp. I think I'm going to touch up the eyebrows just a little bit more and then we'll be done with the look. All right guys well there you have it. If you like this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell that way you're notified of all the videos that I've been uploading okay. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.